Hi guys, it's Olivia, and today is the booty workout. This workout is going to help you tone your butt, shape up your glutes. I'm going to do this routine once, but I recommend you do it twice. But if you don't have time that day, just do this workout routine once. But if you do have time, do it twice. Let's start off with lateral lunges. Are you guys ready? Examine how I do this and notice that I touch my foot each time I get to the other side. And if you can't touch your foot, reach down as far as you can. And if you aren't feeling a burn, then you need to go deeper into your lunge. So remember, the deeper the lunge, the faster the result. 20 more seconds, guys. Keep it up. Next, we have this little lunge combo. I start in a lunge, and when I bring my knee forward, the leg standing straightens, and when I kick my foot to the side, my standing leg straightens. So basically, your leg straightens each time your other leg comes up. We'll be doing this on both legs for 20 seconds. If your leg is starting to give out on you, don't. Keep it up, two, one, and you're done. All right, guys, shake it out, and let's start with the next leg. Finding life along the way, melodies we haven't played. No, I don't want no rest. Echoing around these walls, fighting to create. I believe this is called the baby stretch. You're going to cross your legs and hug it and really feel the stretch in your glutes. Time for the bridge. I was definitely not going to leave these out. These are essential. Your feet are flat and every time you push your butt to the top, squeeze it to make it a lot more effective and also keep your core engaged because if you don't keep it tight, then it'll be very hard to push your booty to the top. Push your booty as high as you can. All right, same thing, but this time your feet are in releve. Five more seconds, hang in there. Three, two, one. Awesome. You've made it and you're on your way to a fit, sexy booty. All right, so now we're going to do fire hydrants. They're pretty self-explanatory. I recommend pointing your feet. You don't have to, but I like to. You just want to lift your leg as high as you can each time. Come on up, let's switch to the other side. finished. Moving on to donkey kicks. It is extremely important that your knee is facing down, not off to the side, facing the ground. I show the incorrect way that some people do in the corner so you can get an idea of what to avoid. If you do the incorrect way, this exercise will not help you progress. And aim to lift your leg as high as you can while keeping your knee facing the ground. And the bottom of your foot should be facing the sky, not off to the side.
Five more seconds. Hang in there. Keep pushing harder. Finished. When doing this exercise, make sure you create an arch when bringing your foot from one side to the other. I think of it like drawing a rainbow in the air. Make sure to keep your legs straight and foot pointed. Time to switch sides to the other leg. This is a quick hamstring stretch. Hold your right leg, keeping it bent, then grab your foot, and you are going to straighten it right now. If you can't do that, look at the top right hand corner where I have the modified version. Bend your leg, then straighten, and try to bring it back further. Now you're gonna bend it once more, straighten, and pull it back as far as you can. And now you can switch sides. You are going to be grabbing your left leg and bending it. Hold it. Now straighten it and bring it back as far as you can. Bend. Straighten. Bend. Straighten. Now time for plie squats. Make sure there's enough space between your feet and you just want to keep your core engaged. And also, by holding out our arms like this, this is giving your arm a quick workout, so it's hitting two birds with one stone. Now go into releve on your right foot and continue the plie squats and for the next 10 seconds you will go into releve on your left foot. Last thing in your plie, you'll be pulsing for 20 seconds and try to go as deep as you can into your plie. We're doing another quick stretch where you bring your knee as high as you can. Hold on to a wall if you can't balance, but a good balance tip is to stare at an object and don't take your eyes off of it. Focus on it. We're almost done with the workout. These are split squats. Put one foot on your bed or chair and you will just bend up and down. Now the dumbbells are optional, you don't need them, but to make it more advanced and effective, I am using dumbbells. And try to get as deep as you can into the lunge, because the deeper the lunge, the quicker the results. Turn us to thousands, and we'll grow in number, fueled by them to see the horizon. Turn us to thousands. Finished with your left leg, move on to your right leg for 30 seconds.
Your last workout are squats. We're going to do 25 of them, but you're more than welcome to do more. Make sure you have enough space between your legs and don't arch your back as you go down into the squat. Stay strong in this and remember, won't quit till I'm fit. Just see.